All right, so we're actually rolling. Okay, now. In a previous video, uh, so in the previous video, actually, we've looked into Dao E Hugging Face uh, application, and I said that uh, I'm quite disappointed about the current state of generating images from text, and I uh, still sustain my opinion. I do think that we're heading in a in the right direction, but right now, when it comes to Dal E Mini and the applications at Hugging Face, they didn't do quite a good of a job when it uh, comes to generating images from text. Now, uh, most specifically because of the resolution and the quality of the image that was generated. And I've said in that video that uh, there are uh, ways in which you can do realistic, not realistic, but more higher quality generated images with VQGAN and CLIP, which is one method. And that's exactly what I started doing here. Uh, and uh, I took the time to actually uh, set up uh, and download the models and actually learn, uh, actually start a generation. But I made a mistake, so we're going to see what uh, it's actually going to generate because my prompt was, so the prompt yesterday was vividly green meadow with sheep. And today the prompt was vividly green meadow with shap. So I've actually misspelled the last word. And uh, to actually, I'm curious to see what is going to um, what is going to generate. Right now we have 114 iterations over 200, so this should be finished in less than five minutes. So we'll see. Uh, we'll actually see what VQGAN uh, plus Clip uh, how better of a job it does compared to the doll e mini applications from Hugging Face Spaces. Now, to start off, this is a collab notebook so this is different from the hugging face spaces let me make sure that we're actually recording here so we have two minutes running which is good okay so create create realistic quote unquote realistic i would say that these are not actually realistic ai generated images with vq gam plus clip this was a notebook by max wolf and this actually built on previous work by um, other folks that are mentioned here. And this was last updated yesterday, so that's really good. Yesterday being August 8th, today is August 9th, as you can see here. So, yeah, um, this notebook allows you to create <laughs> realistic AI-generated images with as few clicks as possible for free. Okay, so to do that, actually, I'm going to link this collab notebook in the description of this video. And uh, to, to uh, try to do this kind of stuff, you just log into your Google account and go to collabresearch.google.com or just click the link in the description of this video. Now, first, you would check whether or not the uh, collab has allocated you a good GPU. Ideally, is not a K80, which is the slowest one. Now, we have the K80 here, which uh, is the slowest one. So, yeah, sometimes you get, uh, like, less better one, and sometimes you get a more better one, if I can put it that way. Now, uh, download the models. This actually takes a few minutes. It only takes like, it only took two minutes for me. And then we have this icon background, which is uh, optional. So I didn't actually use this. And you have the settings for the icon background. So we can just um, toggle this off. Now, AI generation settings. The following cells allows you. So these are the parameters that we can control. First off is the prompt that we want to generate. And uh, as you can see, you can include multiple prompts by separating them with a straight line here. The AI will attempt to optimize for all prompts simultaneously. So, for example, Apple, and then you have... Uh, line painting of a calm sunset and you can attach weights to each of these prompts so for example apple then you attach a weight to apple 3 and the ai will attempt to favor prompts with a higher weight proportionally more 
You can also apply a negative weight with minus one, which is the opposite of a 3D, render 3D rendering in Unreal Image in this case. So yeah, that's that. Width and height is self-explanatory. Initial image and target images. I believe these are parameters that would have to do with style transfer. For example, if you start with an initial image, if you don't start with an initial image, the, the model will start with some solid color. Like in this case, for example, we can see this color, which is started. Uh, all right, then uh, training settings. You have the learning rate, which is they start uh, its preset at point two if you're training without an initial image and point one is recommended if you're using an initial image max steps the more steps the better so this is sort of like an unspoken general rule or unwritten general rule in uh, machine learning and ai the more data you have the more training resources and capabilities that you have uh, the longer you train the better so yeah um, that's that max steps as I said it's preset at 200 and images interval number of steps for the training to check in and output an image of what it is trained on so this actually means that uh, the iteration so we have the learning rate uh, set up at point two the max step is 200 so yeah and uh, the training has finished here and images interval so we're going to see the zeroth image at iteration 0, then the image at iteration 50, 100, 150, and 200. Therefore, we're actually seeing how the, models, how the model is actually learning. Um, and when it reaches the 200, it actually stops and you see the output. This is where we're actually controlling for the parameters. I've only set the prompt to vividly green matter with SHAP. So SHAP is probably a non-existing word. We'll see what uh, what we got here. Okay, and that's that. Uh, the training has finished. Uh, this is where, like I said, this is where you set the parameters. We can see the code. The training hasn't finished. So iteration 198. Let's see what we got. 199. 200 so it's finished seven minutes in uh yeah so it finished this is the zeroth iteration so like i said it starts with uh sort of like a solid color and then we have iteration 50 and we can see sort of like it understood that we might have want to say sheep instead of shep we can see some uh, we can distinguish some sort of a sheep here. Now we look at iteration 100. Not too much of a difference, but just more texture here. We can see the meadow and the sky sort of like. Iteration 150. And iteration 200. So yeah this is uh, the current state of ai i mean the current state of my incapacity to or inability to write uh, like correct english but still we have an abstract image sort of like uh, interesting one i wonder what it would um what it would look like if it instead of shep it if it were sheep but yeah that's that so this is our result it actually took like 13 to 15 minutes to complete but then again if you have a better um if you have a better engine here a better gpu it might uh, go faster and you might see uh, images uh, uh, you might see better images of course it depends on the parameters the training time and the output it depends greatly on how you set the parameters and of course uh, you can also uh, generate and download a video of the ai generation you just did by running the th this cell so i kindly invite you to uh, tweet about uh, to actually try and do what i'm doing here to replicate this because this you you don't need any coding you don't need anything you can just take this notebook uh, say thank you to the authors of it 
and uh, try to uh, come up with clever prompts and post uh, the link to uh, these images in the comments to the images that you generate in the comments uh, in the comment section below and with that said uh, I guess this is it for this video